Hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, you join me on a lovely day with a, a different car. So this is my mate Ben's, he's behind the camera. Give the camera a little wave. Give, give, can, give me a little wave, there he is. Um, this is his Twingo Renault Sport Gordini. first it's a 1.6 na engine it's got 133 brake yeah. it's um, a fairly nifty little thing it's got nice little touches being the gordini um, but um let's stop the bullshit let's go on to the car all right so you may be wondering who gordini or what gordini is so gordini was an italian race car driver and um eventually then a tuner for renault cars so there's some cars such as the Renault 5 Gordini, that was quite an outrageous car, and the Renault 8 Gordini, which won quite a lot of rallies in its time. So Gordini name has got a lot of her heritage, and that's why they've done this special edition. So um, the differences from the standard car are, um, you get the different white bits here, you don't get that on the standard car, you also get your, your Gordini stripes, which have got like the little G logo and I'll get a closer up shot of these. Um, but yeah, and then um, the rest of the differences come on the interior. But basically the Gordini is a Twingo Renault Sport Cup chassis with added bits on that you don't normally get on the Cup. But um, what I'll do is I'll take you inside the car, show you around there and show you what's different in there. Alright, so the same as the Twingo RS Cup, this has got 17 inch wheels and I think it's got suspension that's 33% stiffer than the standard car and it sits a little bit lower. That's the main difference between that and the Cup. Alright, so let's go and have a look inside, but first I want to show you the very weird door handles. It's not a handle you think you'd pull that, no? You'd go like that. Very strange. But um, as you cover the door, you've got your nice Renault Sport kick seal, um, but you've got these lovely seats there black and blue leather with a nice little Gordini um, embossing on it. You get a nice blue leather steering wheel, you get your blue rev counter right in front of you there, and um, you get a nice gear knob that's got Gordini on it as well, and there's a little plaque telling you which number Gordini it is. Um, it's not a bad place inside, obviously. It's a fairly cheap car, so you can tell that in some places there's quite a bit of plastic, but that's standard on this kind of car no different to my car really. Um, in the back it's quite cool, so it's only a four seater, you've only got two extra seats in the back, but these seats, ooh, let me get you and I'll show you. These seats, you can slide them forwards and backwards, and that can give you extra boot space, so if you slide them forward you can also recline them as well, which is quite cool. It's actually fairly roomy in the back as well is surprising for a car of this size but um, that's about a free interior now we're going to take it for a drive and I can tell you what it feels like on the road all right so you join me in the Gordini so let's start off with the engine so it's a 1.6 naturally aspirated engine about 133 brake and it, it's a nice little engine it, it just revs out, it's nice. It's quite different to my car where I'm changing gear quite a bit before the red line because with a turbo car, obviously it loses pump. 
the comments if you think that's something that I should do. Um, but thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video give it a like, um, please subscribe, uh, that's it for today.